Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and here are your angel card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you. Leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy the readings and have a really positive week. So Scorpio, let's have a look at your cards and your card from the mini mindfulness oracle is the card gratitude. Having an attitude of gratitude allows angels to bring more wonderful guidance to you. And she's holding up a little balloon there saying thank you. So starting your day with grace and gratitude saying thank you. Being mindful of all the good things in your life and focusing on those allow the angels to bring you even more. So just be mindful of that this week. And moving on to the teacup tarot, your overall energy is the page of wands, talking about bringing in abundance and opportunity. Here it is again. That's just what the page of wands is doing. She's bringing information in of opportunity, new ideas, change, reminding you that can, you can manifest just what it is you're wanting, positive news, new creative projects. All this information is tumbling in here. And the page of ones is catching all this information, putting it in a basket, ready to act on it. So this week, pay attention to new opportunities, new information and new ideas coming in for you. Your help or your hurdle, the five of wands says, if there's any drama going on in the background, leave it where it is. This card says, not my circus, not my monkeys. So if there are any conversations that are going on that you don't need to be part of, leave them where they are. If there is any drama in the background, leave it where it is. Your job this week is to focus on where you want to go. Focus on the sunshine and keep walking towards it. Stay positive and be grateful. The six of coins comes in as your guidance here. And again, isn't it lovely? Things floating in from the universe, things tumbling in from the sky. And the six of coins, again, it's a lovely echo of this card. This says gifts, opportunities, new opportunities, new projects, abundance are looking for you this week. Be awake for them. They are here. You just have to receive with grace and gratitude. How can we help ourselves? The seven of teacups is the card of choices and decisions. Specifically, wise choices. Now, this card asks you to look at all your options carefully. Look at every one and then decide. It's just what the angel's doing here. Look, she's standing back and she's looking at all these teacups. Now, each teacup has something different in it. Some have lovely things like flowers and chocolate. But there's a little grumpy gingerbread man in this one. She doesn't want to choose him. So she's standing back. She's looking at them all. She's looking at the bigger picture. She's gathering all her information, taking notice of this new information then she'll make a wise and sensible choice. And when she does, here's the door of opportunity. We're talking about opportunities here and here, and here it is. Here's the door of opportunity. And it's ready for you to step through. Taking that leap of faith might be out of your comfort zone a little bit, but it's there and it's ready for you. And the queen of wands comes in and says, yes, you can. The Queen of Wands is confidence and self-belief personified. She can turn her hand to anything. She can manifest just what she wants. Just like that. She's done that on the card, look. She's manifested a teapot, a teacup and a cake, just like that, because she knows how to do it. Here's the success. She's got the self-confidence and this card reminds you to do just that. 
It could also be somebody coming in with the know-how, with the how-to to help you make the most of these opportunities, make the most of these new projects, and then you can step through this door with confidence and self-belief and move yourself towards success. So let's just summarise quickly. Look out for lots of new opportunities coming in for you this week and new information. Leave the drama where it is. Don't get involved in that. You focus on where you're going and what you want to do. Receive, find out all your information. Make a wise, sensible choice. Know that you can do it. You've got this self-confidence, the self-belief. Believe in yourself and be ready to step through this door towards the next opportunity. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The Eight of Action says, expect things to get busy. Delays are over, there's lots going on, lots up in the air all at once. It's lovely that it's fallen on the Seven of Teacups card because that's the card that says, make your choices wisely. So you might have a few decisions to make this week, a few choices. You can do it. Expect delays to be over. The seven of thought says focus on your needs, focus on your plans and your new ideas and move forward with optimism. She's walked through the door. Look, she's closed the door on anything that isn't working. And she's focusing in this new direction. We've got doors on two cards here. Open doors. There's the opportunity for you. And the ten of emotion is beautiful. Here is the fulfilment, the happy ever after card, contented family life, loving, rewarding relationships, trustworthy relationships, spending time with those people you love. What a lovely end to a lovely reading. So thank you for watching. Please click the subscribe button, make the bell ring, and then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.